Hello everyone, welcome to Aptitude Jab. This set from CAT 2019, slot 2 DILR, says that there is a college in which there are students discussing two proposals. A is a proposal which, uh, which says that a proposal by the authorities to introduce dress code and proposal B says students to allow multinational food franchises to set up outlets on college campus. A student does not necessarily support either of the two proposals. So a student can support one or uh, none or both of these uh, proposals. In an upcoming election for student union president, there are two candidates in the phrase Sunita and Ragini. Every student prefers one of the two candidates. A survey was conducted among the students by picking a sample of 500 students and some information was given to us. Now we will have a Venn diagram because some people will vote for uh, Sunita, some people will vote for Ragini, some people will talk about proposal A, some will talk about proposal B. Okay, so 250 students supported proposal A, 250 students supported proposal B. Now the challenge here is to how to draw the Venn diagram. Should we draw like two Venn diagrams like this saying that this is proposal A and this is B? and find out how many support Sunita and Ragini or we draw Sunita and Ragini. Okay, R and S, we make two Venn diagrams and then find how many support A and B. Now, if you notice this, every student prefers one of the two candidates. So, we know that Sunita and Ragini all will be supported. Suppose we draw A and B. Let's say we draw proposal A. How can we fit Sunita, Ragini and uh, both Sunita and Ragini and there will be none of Sunita and Ragini which is not possible, right? So if we let us say this is Sunita and this is Ragini, so this is both and none is not possible and it is difficult to represent none of them supporting proposal A, right? Similarly, in that case, we will have to make three cases like uh, two Venn diagrams, A, Sunita, Ragini, both, B, Sunita, Ragini, both and then none of these. Instead, we will draw a Venn diagram wherein we will draw one for Ragini, one for Sunita and make proposal A, B or none of them. So we will have a Venn diagram like this so that we can mention that how many do not support any of the proposals outside the Venn diagrams. So we are given that there are 200 students who preferred Sunita. So Sunita is 200 and Ragini is 300. Okay, so among these 200 students who preferred Sunita as union president, 80% supported proposal A. So there are 160 people supporting uh, Sunita, 160 propose, proposal A. So that means the sum of these two values is 160. Now we will go on to fill the information and uh, get the information done. So 160 here, this should be 90 in total because total 250 students are supporting proposal A. Now we will keep on filling the information. Uh, among those who preferred Ragini, 30% supported proposal A. So it is self understood like 160, so 90 should be here. 20% of those who supported proposal B preferred Sunita. Okay. Now 20% of B, 20% of B, B is 200. 50. So that means 50 is B and Sunita. So B and Sunita that means this total is going to be 50. Right. Next thing is 40% of those who did not support proposal B preferred Ragini. So there are 250 people. Okay. They supported proposal B. So did not support proposal B is also 250. 40% of 250 is 100. So 100, they are not B and supporting Ragini. So not B means this value plus this value. So we will come to it later. We'll come to this point later. And then till the next one, every student who preferred Sunita and supported proposal B also supported proposal A. So Sunita proposal B also supported proposal A. That means zero will come here. No one. It basically means, this sixth statement means B alone equals to 0. So it is 0. Now we will have 50 here. right? So this will give us 110. 
Now there are 200 people supporting Sunita, so this total is 160, hence 40 will come here. Okay, so this part is done. Now among those who preferred Ragini, 20% did not support any of the proposals. 20% means 60 people did not support any of the proposals. So this part is 60, right? Now we will come to point number 5. It says 40% of those who did not support proposal B preferred Ragini. Did not support proposal B. Preferred Ragini. So 100 people did not support prefer uh, who are not supporting this 100 is the sum of these two values because they are not supporting proposal B. This is 60, hence the remaining value is 40. Okay, so this can be done. Now, in Ragini, we should have A as 90. So, 50 will come here. Total is 300. 100, 150. B will be 150. Only B. So, if you check it out, it should match everything. Total number of people supporting proposal B is 250. Total number of people supporting proposal A is also 250. Okay. These are the people not supporting anything. And all the information about has been successfully filled in this Venn diagram. So, that was the key here, drawing the right set of Venn diagrams. Now, the first question is, among the students surveyed who supported proposal A, what percentage preferred Sunita for student union president? Now, if you look at proposal A, 250 people are supporting and how many are preferring Sunita? That is 160. So, 160 by 250 as a percentage will give us 64%. What percentage of the students surveyed who did not support proposal A preferred Ragini as student union president? Did not support proposal A. Okay, preferred Ragini. So these are the people who are not supporting proposal A because these people are supporting proposal A, right? These are the people not supporting it. So when we say did not support proposal A, it does not mean that B. It means B plus none also, okay? Only B and none. So we will count these. That is 210 people. So 210 by 250 is, we will have, uh, 84%. What percentage of the students surveyed who supported both proposals A and B preferred Sunita as union president? Both A and B. So both A and B we have 100. How many of them preferred Sunita? So 50 of them are preferring Sunita. So 50 out of 100 such students, hence 50%. How many of the students surveyed supported proposal B, did not support proposal A and preferred Ragini as a student president? So B not supporting A, so only B in Ragini. Okay, so in Ragini only B is 150. So the number is 150. So this was the solution to the set and the answers to the questions.